Hey everybody, what's good? Today I want to show you guys how to add simple VFX to your videos and it all happens in your web browser. Let's go. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, I hope everybody's good. Today I'm going to be taking this simple video I shot outside playing basketball and I'm going to be attempting to make it a bit more interesting, adding some VFX and a bit more interest. And it's all using Runway. Now Runway is a program running your web browser. Normally to do all this row scoping and all that kind of tedious stuff, you'd have to know how to do most of it. But through Runway, they make it super easy. It runs in the cloud and it doesn't use any of your CPU power. And it does it really, really well, even better than what I'd normally use. And the cool thing is Chris and the team over at Runway are doing an amazing job adding more effects and making stuff more efficient. And it's really exciting to see. So let's jump straight into Runway and start editing. First thing we're gonna do is open up Chrome because that's the browser they recommend using. We're gonna go to runwayml.com, log in. And as soon as you log in, you'll see this, all the projects you've been working on. We're gonna go to the right and press on new project. And right here, you see all your assets to the left. You'll see your pictures, audio, video. You see your timeline and then your preview window. And on the right, we'll see all the preferences and effects we can use off the clips in the main sequence. Next, we're gonna find the video we wanna work on and just simply drag that onto our assets. That's gonna start uploading. Once that's uploaded, we can just simply drag that clip onto our timeline. Next, because this is in portrait, we're gonna to go to right and change that to ID story. Select the clip and just simply rotate that 90 degrees. And as you can see, it'll just snap in place. Next, we're gonna see when the subject comes in right about there and I'm just gonna trim that. And then we're gonna trim the back end as well. I'm gonna press Command K to trim that and I'm gonna keep that as a blank slate. All right, so that's what I've got. Next, I'm gonna select the clip and I'm gonna green screen it. I'm gonna key it out. I'm gonna find where the subject is all in frame. And I'm simply gonna make points of what I want keying out. Just like that, it's keyed it out. It's done a great job. And I'm just gonna move to the front end of the clip and see if it's missed anything out. So right at the start, it's missed a few things out and they've added this new brush, which is great. You go to the right, you just click on the brush and then you can adjust the size of the brush right here and the feathering. And we're just gonna give the AI a bit more information to work with. And by pressing the right arrow key, you can move frame by frame and add in any more details you want it to include. In some parts, it's a bit blurry because of the movement. In hindsight, I probably should have recorded it with a higher shutter speed. But in this case, we'll just add in what the AI has missed. If you need to go back, you just click on a keyframe and your playhead's going to snap to that. When the subject gets really far away, it misses a bit out, but we can always zoom in. Press the space bar to drag your picture around. And then we can include or exclude stuff in the mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exclude and erase some of that mask out and make minor adjustments here and there take it frame by frame after you've masked out whatever you wanted to mask out you can just go back and as you can see it's masked out everything it had to next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that clip and on the bottom clip we're going to turn the mask off and from here we're going to animate some stuff and add some effects so right at this point right here i'm going to duplicate the clip and then i'm going to move the playhead and then the clip that's underneath, I'm just gonna move to the right. So I'm gonna create this 3D kind of thing happening. Duplicate that clip again, and then move the bottom clip a bit more to the right. And I'm gonna time these out, just so I've got like a 3D motion happening. If you need to zoom in, you just click right here where the lines are, and you can zoom the clip in. And after adjusting it and getting it just perfect, I've got something like this. And then right around here, I want everything to go back into one body. So I'm going to adjust that. After some minor adjustments, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my 360 pack and find a clicky sound, drag that into my assets, and that'll just upload it straight away. If you come down to your audio tab, you should be able to find it. I'm just going to go to the start with the first clip right there. And if you double click it, that audio is going to go and snap straight onto the playhead. I'm going to go in and adjust the audio exactly where I want it. And then Pressing option and drag, I'm gonna drag this into place. If you wanna adjust the volume of each clip, you just click on the audio clip and then on the right, we can just adjust the volume. Gonna do the exact same thing when it folds up. I'm gonna click on the bottom clip and I'm gonna press on these three stars here and I'm gonna animate it. I'm just gonna animate the position, nothing too crazy. And right around there, I'm just gonna move the position to the right. So we'll get something like this. After that, I'm just gonna to go to my 360 pack and drag some more sound effects in. 
Then I'm going to take that first shot I had when nothing's happening. I'm just going to put it right underneath here. We're going to add some effects to that bottom clip. I'm just going to make sure the bottom clip is selected and then go to my effects. With that selected, you can see all the effects. And the cool thing is, as soon as you go over each effect, you can preview the effect in real time. Just press the add button and that's going to add the effect. We're going to animate that radio blur. We're going to put some keyframes there and go to the end and change some of the parameters. After that, I'm simply going to chop up some clips and add a VHS and glitch effect and some sound effects to finish up the video. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Chris and the team over at Runway are doing an amazing job. And trust me when I say they've got some amazing stuff coming up. Go ahead and create an account and start messing with it. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. I'm definitely going to be using the new features as I roll out on my Instagram. Dave the Greco is the handle. Come and say hi. Until next time, everybody. Peace. Take care.